Yeah, we're gonna find out if the Hobbywing 1250 KV motor, the 5690, can actually handle 12S. Don't try this. I've been told that it might be able to for a few seconds and then it might just simply go poof. We're gonna find out. Let's get to the table because I've got some brand new 6S batteries that fit right in the stock trays. Let's go. This is the setup right here. Sure, there's no fan on the heat sink, but at least it's got a heat sink on it, right? Let me show you these batteries. And those are the Gens Ace 3300 milliamp 6S batteries right here. I mean, let me put one in. They go in with room to spare. Now, I want you guys to see, I've got my battery tray lock shimmed up for the larger 4S batteries. Yeah, larger 4S. Look at that. <laughs> These are tight little batteries, let me tell you. Now, I got these batteries from Sean Lerman, Jack's RC Recycle and Repair here in Jacksonville, Florida. So, he also has some 5,000 milliamp Gen Ace batteries that he says will also fit. I might grab those. What I like about these is now I've got something that's easily to fit that I can, or that I can easily put into more vehicles. Yep, we're finally going to 6S that Traxxas Max. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Uh, I'm a little worried. I'll be surprised if these tires survive. If they don't survive, I'll be looking for some more stock tires. Or I'll be getting some Pro-Lines. Not sure. I'm going to try to ease into it. I really don't want to pop the tires. And I also don't want to um, destroy the rotor of this thing. Battery's a little low on my... GPS, so. All right. Woo! Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, this thing is wild. That wasn't too bad of a pull there. Oh, there we go. Ah, let's see. Oh. I thought maybe i just take the bead loose. No, I wasted a tire. And we only got 51.8. I mean, the front kept coming up. There was no way to actually get the full speed. Oh, I gotta find some new tires. I like these tires. Oh, well, I kind of expected something like this. But now that the tire's busted, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off but we're gonna finish it off in slow-mo. Yeah, slow-mo, slow-mo. It wasn't much of a run, but yeah, 122, 118. It wasn't much of a run, but uh, yeah, at least my motor's still alive, right? Well, hey, the motor survived. I'm happy with that. So the motor took it really good. The temperatures were fine. Granted, it wasn't a real long drive, but still it took it. Tires, not so much. And then I was looking at that, it was like, man, 
even when that front and up, the back were just all pancaked out. So that was crazy. But um, I do not recommend anybody do this. But hey, it survived for the one time I'm on a 12S, this thing. And I'm good. Now I got to go find some tires. I'll probably post up in some Facebook groups or something. But regardless of all that, I will find some tires just like these. I may even do some cuts on them if I get a couple sets. You never know. But guys, check that description. Use those links. I'll link up the motor system. Awesome. Batteries. Absolutely awesome. Uh, Jack's RC Recycle Repair. Use those links. They are affiliate links. A main eBay, Amazon, Horizon. Helps out the channel when you guys use them. So guys, um, yeah. Hope you have a great day. And um, I'm happy with it. It took it. Sort of. Thank you all for watching. Guys, you made it to the end. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys making it to the end of the video it means so much to me. Uh, I mean, for real. Consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, A main, eBay, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.